ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Alien Afai, and today we are here to counter a globe. Which globe might that be? Why, of course it's the UFO globe! mention what is going on with the reflectance of this glove what is this that looks like earth by the way if you didn't know what is what is that in that banner do you see that do you see in the bottom right hand corner oh, <laughs> and these are going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters this brand new alien glove or ufo glove sorry we've got andrew gravity show cone bio carl and hat masters i appreciate all of you let's get into this i can see movement gloves being beneficial here if they start abducting you can you use the fart blast or any movement to get out of the way yes you can and it takes them a while to get their ability back so this is good you get yours back much quicker this isn't anything crazy for offense against them this is just good for not getting caught up in their abduction so i think most movement gloves are pretty much going to be 50 50s because they don't do anything for offense but they will not be yoinked up if you're paying attention the rocks i would consider exactly like movement gloves i wouldn't use diamond though i'd use either custom or mega rock as soon as they're doing their beam just go into a rock you can't be picked up you're perfectly safe here. Just wait for their beam to be finished and then go back to slap fighting. So yep, all the rocks are just like the movement gloves. They keep you safe, but there's nothing for offense. So 50-50s in my opinion. Do sleeping people get picked up? Uh, it seems like sleeping people are fine. Oh my goodness. If you see them starting to do their ability, just go into the sleeping form. Once the beam is done, you can get right up and walk away. So yep, this is just like the rocks and movement gloves. 50-50 because there's no offense to it until they get out of their ship. Flashes a movement glove. Use this to evade as soon as they cast down their beam. You have a faster cooldown as well can you somehow jump over the beam oh yo i think i think you can what didn't see that coming <laughs> yo, what this is the weirdest counter that i've ever seen i think you're all right oh, okay i got caught there but that was weird i think if you're running with this and changing directions it could be effective it'll be hard for them to catch you as a ghost but you're still able to be abducted up so i'm gonna say that this is also 50 50 my goodness gracious everything's 50 50 using magnet it's kind of sort of like swapper you could use this to get out of danger but if somebody's close to you this isn't gonna help you because you're just gonna get abducted with them still so i think that this is 50 50 speed run is another great movement glove so you could use this to avoid just like default or anything like that but again this doesn't have anything for offense when they are up in the ufo so 50 50 i do believe reverse works here but this doesn't do anything to the user above all it does is it just keeps you and prevents you from being abducted that's about it it's very close but you do have the faster cooldown so this is another 50 50 glove while you're in animations you can't be abducted once they use their beam i would oh then go into the animation Indeed. and you can't be picked up until you're out of it so it comes down to timing. So this is another 50-50. Whoa, it doesn't do anything if they're in the air. But this can be something that stops them from actually going into the UFO itself and has a faster cooldown. If you push them out when their UFO is coming, they have to wait the whole cooldown to get into their UFO again. Anybody that tries, just hit them with the whoa and they're not allowed in that UFO. So, yep. <laughs> no UFO for you. <laughs> so again, this is like another 50-50 because it does have the offense, but it doesn't have any bit of defense. Balloon is going to be a good avoiding glove. Use the two balloon method. Have two balloons on you so that if one of them comes near you and tries to abduct you, you just go up in the air and they're not going to be able to get you. Yep. Can't get me while I'm up here, goobers. <laughs> and then I don't think that you can... Oh god. So you can land on the player, but I don't think that you can slap them out. Okay. So this is another avoiding glove. 50-50. Phantom is a movement glove, plus it has a little bit of ghost mixed in with it. So a good 50-50 but nothing for offense. You can definitely bait them out with wormhole, but this is just another avoiding glove. Everything's avoiding <laughs> besides one glove so far. Table flip, ping pong, and slicer are gonna be deterrents. These aren't counters because you have to really get it there at a perfect time for it to clip the exact way the whoa ability did. You have to get it before they go up into the UFO for this to be effective. I think they all have a faster cooldown, maybe besides table flip. Table flips might be a little bit longer, so yeah, I just, I don't like these as counters. These are definitely deterrents to keep them out of the UFO if you're quick enough. You should be able to use excavator to go underground. This should be another 50 50 if they try to abduct you just go underground i think while you're underground yep you cannot be abducted and you just go right back above you do win the cooldown battle against them as well so even if they get theirs you get yours back pretty much the exact same time so you can always avoid being abducted by the same user if it's a second user you're gonna have problems grapple is just like speedrun this is fantastic to avoid being grabbed up into their beam but it doesn't do anything for offense so another movement glove another 50 50 <laughs> what happens if you're in a cloud beneath them 
perfectly fine. You can actually go above them too. Granted, you can't really do anything to them. This is just another one of those globes where you're safe. 50-50. Harry's movement is perfect. The jump dash that it has is just like default's fart blast in a way. And it has a faster cooldown, so another good movement glove, but nothing for offense against them while they're in the UFO itself. If you guardian angel your friend and they get abducted and spit off the map, this will save them, but this will not save you. Ferryman's dash is good as a movement and you'd get the faster cooldown, but this doesn't have anything for offense, I don't think. I don't think you can reach up to the UFO with the jump. Nope. So again, this is just another movement glove. Can you panic use blink? This should be a really good glove. So if you're in harm's way with this, just go into the blink form can't be abducted so you just have to wait for them to get out of the ufo form and then you can go attack them so this is a great glove to panic use with you could use the speed with slapstick but not gonna lie it's pretty risky if they're hovering you and they're getting ready to use their ability as soon as your little ability pops up beneath your feet definitely use this the good part is you do have a faster cooldown with skedaddle so even if they try to go after you again you're way way well in advance ready to use this to get out of harm's way so this is good for avoiding but again this doesn't do anything for them above so 50 50 as a speed i don't think you can be abducted. Yeah, the Speev army, you're perfectly fine to create more clones and not have to worry. As Gravity said, unkillable. Unless you, you know, reset. <laughs> what happens if you have somebody grab and you get abducted? Ooh, the player doesn't get grabbed, so you could save your friend with it. <laughs> this isn't a counter, this is just like, brother, you must live on without me. <laughs> Don't use God's hand, you can be abducted if you're underneath them. So, yeah, don't, make sure you don't stand underneath them. <laughs> There's no way a Titan can be abducted, right? That would be insane. Oh, no, they can't. Okay, you're perfectly fine as a Titan. All right, all right, all right. So, this is another 50-50 glove because you can avoid being picked up, but guess what? You can't do any offense to them. Acrobat's another movement glove, 50-50. Faces another 50-50 glove that's gonna keep you perfectly safe, but has zero offense to them while they're up in the UFO itself. Warp is a fantastic glove to keep you safe if you have somebody slapped prior. So, in danger, teleport out, you're good to go. And you do have a faster cooldown by, like, half a second. This is the weirdest counters I think we've ever done. Moon has the same characteristics as Spring but might be better than spring because you hover up farther. So this is another one where you gotta wait, 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 and then jump up. Yes, you can't avoid it. It's all due to timing with moon. There you go. You just gotta make sure you jump over that green laser and you're good to go. Wait, what? Why is that UFO just hovering? Can I steal it? Oh, I stole it. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd probably recommend Moon over Spring, but both are 50-50. What happens with Slapple? I don't think this does anything, but I'm interested to see what kind of mechanics work. never seen that before let's see let us see here you're perfectly safe against the ufo user wow this has the same characteristics as well they try to get into their ufo this has that shock wave that'll push them back and keep them out of it so this is offensive slightly and perfectly defensive if you are in that tree yeah yo oh my god i thought i was gonna have a free ufo there because there's very few gloves that are counters here i'm gonna give slapple a top counter because you can stop them from going into the ufo if you have super good pressure or if they're already in the ufo you can avoid them fully by sitting up in the tree the only top counter on this list so far but once we get down to firework that's also gonna be one can you be abducted while on top of larry nope okay what is going on here? We got the double decker. While on top of Rattlebones, you cannot be grabbed, but I don't really think that does anything significant. You can't do anything offensively to them, so another 50-50. Charges a movement glove. I believe you have a faster cooldown, or it's like pretty much the exact same, so another 50-50. Fish is an amazing movement glove. You can pair this up with grapple. They should never be able to pick you up in a UFO with this. And once they get down, you have the better advantage. But again, nothing while they're in the UFO, so 50-50. What happens with leash? So if the leash user gets abducted, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is cloudy all over again. <laughs> this isn't a counter, this is just for the memes. If you time the counter animation, does it have a faster cooldown? Alright, so it comes down to elite timing, but if you do it right, you can avoid being caught for sure. But now we need to see who has the faster cooldown. Oh, okay, so it's by like a fraction of a second. There's other gloves that I would use over this, definitely. Rob should keep you fully safe, but doesn't do anything for offense. Alright, so if you're about to be abducted, go into the Rob form, you're not going to be picked up. Good avoiding glove. Rhythm's a good movement glove. You have yellow shockwave tiles. They don't do anything to the UFO, but can help for other little goobers around the map. Another 50-50 movement glove. Both 
both Hitman and Retro here have movement abilities, where if you jump dash with Hitman should work, and with the bomb with Retro should work, but these are both 50-50s as they're only movement gloves. Nothing's gonna stop the actual UFO. What happens if you were to use an invincible potion with Alchemist? You already know the recipe. Grab one of those mushrooms that we just passed, and then one of these little elder woods that you see right here underneath this flower. Drop the cauldron, put in two mushrooms into the blue water, one elder wood into there, click the ladle, now you have yourself an invincible potion. Make sure you drink it, and if you are, if they try to abduct you, you're perfectly fine. Uh, this is not a top counter though, as this is only going to protect you from being abducted. You can't do anything to the UFO user while they're up there. I believe you could time the Santa iframes. This comes down to complete timing here, but right about there. Oh, perfect timing. First try. I love to see it. You can avoid being abducted. You could definitely keep yourself safe from that initial pull. Actually, pretty easily. I'm not going to lie to you. You could also save friends. Like, if you're near a group of people and the abduction thing's about to happen, you could throw some milk, and while they're sleeping, they can't be abducted. So throw the milk, double jump, neither of the people can be abducted. So this is a good thing to save friends with. Santa's not that hard to time, but you do have to have a little bit of awareness to what is going on around you. Ice skate's another good movement glove, but nothing for offense. 50-50. Admin has that fish ability where you can just dodge out of the way. You could just use this to fling yourself out of harm's way. That does work. Joust has a quick, quick animation that you could use. I think you could also be abducted while on top of Joust, so be careful. So if abduction, if you go onto one, yep, you have a brief moment where you're okay. Yeah, you could be picked up. <laughs> with Joust, be careful. If you do get picked up while you're on top of the horse, you're going to have a perma-goofy effect with you. Now to the top counter on this list, of course, Firework. This thing will take down the UFO. The only glove in the game that has the ability to do that, I believe. It's definitely not easy to hit, but this is going to be like your one and only option to take down these UFOs. <laughs> yeah, Firework and Slapple are pretty much the only two gloves that I'm going to fully recommend so far. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the counters for this UFO glove. And wow, by far... The least countered glove in the game. I mean, there's a ton of 50-50s that can avoid being picked up by the beam for sure, but there's only two gloves. Well, there's one glove that takes down the UFO. Only one. But there's only two gloves that can be kind of sort of used against it. Slapple to stop them prior, or if you're late to it, you can always just go into the tree. It's kind of 50-50 on which one you want to use between the two because firework, there's no defense if you end up missing your firework, or your character's just sitting there doing nothing. And Slapple, if you don't get to them early, you can't do anything to them offensively. So it's like you got to kind of pick and choose which kind of poison you're going to drink. But that's in-game. Don't drink poison in real life. That's terrible. Don't do that. I don't know how else to word that. And it was a terrible choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to everybody that you do see on your screen right now. Bio, Planet, Gravity, Foxy, Hatmaster, Show, Cone, Andrew, and Carl. I appreciate all of you. You guys are amazing. Let me know which counter you think you're going to use the most, whether it be Slapple or whether it be Firework. I think for me personally, I'm probably going to be using Firework. There's other gloves that you could use as well that are 50-50s, like if you're just trying to fully avoid them. Speedrun's a good one. Let me know. Which one did you think was the best? Again, I gotta go Firework. You can actually take down the UFO. <laughs> but definitely let me know what your choices are in the comment section below. Other than that, I hope that all of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this and i shall see you in the next one later